Hi, I'm Chris with Afflictor Broadheads, and today we're gonna to talk about how long should you wait before tracking a liver shot deer. Stay tuned. So when we talk about shooting a deer and being unsure of the shot and it being a potential liver shot, immediately we have some concerns on how long are we going to wait to track this deer. But let's back up real quick and talk about the anatomy of the whitetail just briefly and where the liver sits and how it's positioned. And it'll give you a good idea uh, between that and how the whitetail reacts to did you get a liver shot. The first thing we wanna talk about is where does the liver sit? So the liver is really tucked in tight between three different things. So you have the stomach and the gut area here. The liver rides up against that. And then you have the diaphragm and then you have the lungs. So you kind of have that liver sandwiched in there and the liver isn't an organ that lays long ways through the deer cavity, okay? So the liver is almost perpendicular. Now, if you can think of it as maybe a little bit of an L shape or a cup shape to where, um, you know, it's wrapped around the stomach and gut area a little bit and so part of it is straight while the other kind of curves around a little bit. But it is a narrow um, organ if you want to think of it that way when you are considering the whole deer cavity. Now, another important factor here is that there's more cavities than one in a deer, right? We have the front thoracic cavity, and after the diaphragm, we have another cavity, and that's where the liver sits. So the liver is not a giant target, and often when you get a shot that's a little far back, you are going to clip the lungs as well as get the liver, or clip some stomach or intestines as well as get the liver. So it's kind of an area where you can get a little bit of everything and it can be hard to discern, did I get a liver shot? So some of the things you need to consider when you're asking yourself, did I hit the liver is, where did the shot hit? Did you feel that it was off? Did you have a lighted knock? Were you able to kind of see that it was far back? Uh, how did the deer react? Oftentimes, when you get a deer that is hit uh, south of the diaphragm, if you will, they will hunch up. They will hunch over. Uh, they will react that way uh, where they're just kind of, you know, given a little bit of a scrunchy, strange motion. It's, uh, sometimes they will kick. Uh, and so you just got to kind of think, well, maybe that's another uh, discerning factor that I hit the liver. Uh, the other is tail flicking. If your deer is going away and you're seeing that tail and it's flicking a lot, like really nervously flicking, that's a good sign that you have shot behind the diaphragm and could potentially hit liver. The next thing that you can look for, which is a lot more discerning, is of course the, the site of impact. Uh, oftentimes liver shots are pass-through shots. There's not a lot of stuff besides a couple ribs that are blocking your shot, so you have a good chance of getting a pass-through with the correct setup and correct broadhead. But look at the area that you've shot. What is the blood like? Can you find your arrow and what does it lo look like? Now, the differences between a lung shot and a liver shot is with a lung shot, you often have a lot of bright, pink, frothy blood. But when you look at liver blood, it is often darker, a maroon color, and can even be watery. If you start that track job on your uh, potential liver shot deer, often what you'll see is a lot of blood up front. And when you get to that 20 or 30 yard mark, you start to see a lot of blood instantly gone and you're following trickles. And at that time, you can also see that that blood becomes a lot more watery, it gets clearer. It's because you're dealing with a filter organ. And as that blood is pushed through the different capillaries and other minor vessels and veins, you're getting a lot of serous fluid, a lot of white blood cells, and it tends to start to water out that blood little bit. But at the beginning of the track job, you have to make a big decision. And this is the most critical part when you are tracking a potential liver hit deer, is this first decision you're going to make. And that is, am I going to back out or not? So first thing to think about is liver shots are fatal. They're definitely fatal. But the liver being an organ, is designed in such a way that it has several structures within itself that will determine how fast that fatality occurs. So if you consider there's two major vessels, one going in and one coming out of the liver and all kinds of other vascular associations with the liver, the deer's going to die, but if you have hit the hepatic artery, that deer is going to die fast. It really is. You're going to see pretty good blood. The, the thoracic cavity may 
contain or pull a lot of that blood, so it may not be bleeding out of the white tail, but they are going to bleed quickly and they are going to die quickly. Now, making that decision at that point is the tough part because you're gonna have to look at that and say, okay, I have a ton of blood. Like, I, think of it in water bottle terms, okay? If you, the average liver contains almost a full average size water bottle of blood. If you have a bunch of water bottles of blood, two water bottles, you will probably have hit the hepatic artery and you're probably pretty safe. But if you are just seeing maybe a cup or two of blood and then it starts to trickle, you have got to give up the chase. And this is the key thing when it comes to liver hits. A liver hit that is not quickly fatal, meaning you didn't hit the hepatic artery or any of the major vessels, that deer can go a couple hundred yards. It is going to die, but it is going to walk off. And if you have been quiet in your stand, if you have been quiet in your blind and just kind of stayed put and watched, he's often not going to feel like, you know, something's pursuing me. I'm not in trouble. I'm going to go lay down. And that is what you want to do. The problem is, is we get excited as hunters and we start trailing these animals right away, even when we think we have a liver shot and we kick that deer out of the bed. Now all of a sudden it's adrenaline time for that deer. Okay, we have kicked into a whole new mode. We're no longer relaxed and we are taking off. And who knows where we're going from that point. That deer could go anywhere, usually a long distance. But the issue is at that point, usually you have diminished the blood loss. And so tracking has now become to, become a huge problem. So when we're talking about you know this whole liver situation, you'll see an array of times as you read and watch different things on the internet about how long should I really wait. And if you have determined that you have a ton of blood and you feel confident and as you got to that 20 or 30 yard mark, there's still a ton of blood, you're probably okay to start your track job slowly, paying attention, looking ahead, being as quiet as possible. But if you've seen the diminished blood, watery blood, and you are a little bit nervous, go home. <laughs> so that's the easiest way for me to put it. You really should be giving that deer at that time six to eight hours. And I know that's extensive, but as you are running the risk of kicking that deer up and losing it, it is best just to do what you can to wait it out. And some people will say 20 minutes, an hour, three hours, four hours. If you're waiting three hours, why not wait three more? What is the difference besides your nervousness and your excitement? Get more excited about the track job. And remember, after you've given yourself that time, you have given yourself the best chance that if you do have a liver hit that is fatal, you are going to recover that deer. Now remember, whenever you're tracking a whitetail, no matter where it's hit, but especially when you are hitting behind the diaphragm in the thoracic cavity anywhere, you wanna make sure that you have your bow at the ready and that you're ready for a shot because you may come up on that deer bedded and they are weak enough that they're going to give you another shot opportunity, but they're also strong enough that the closer you get, they're going to jump and run. So you want to be prepared for a follow-up shot if possible, if that's what the situation dictates. So make sure that you have your archery equipment at the ready during the uh, liver tracking job.